yeah, back to where we were. I should have let the intro play, because I need to go to the bathroom. I just realized I need to go to the bathroom. Eh. Um, actually, what I can do... Yeah, uh -huh. I just reload it as I quickly run to the bathroom. So we'll let the intro play for a little bit. Um, I'll be back in like two minutes. I am back. Alright. Um, that's good. Let me... Just turn OBS up a little bit on my side. Oh, it's just the main volume I want then. So I had to reset a lot of the uh, my audio for uh, the speed run. And thank you everyone that hung out uh, on really really longathons, lots of lore five. I really did appreciate that. It was a lot of fun doing it. Now we're gonna go on the uh, speed run uh, cooldown for the next week. Um, before the DLC, and that's basically what we're going to be doing next week, is literally just the DLC of Final Fantasy 16. Uh, I'm going to quickly run an, a minute ad break to see if it works. Because the ad breaks were not working when I started the stream. Oh, it's working now. Wait. <laughs> also update my stream title. It ended up, like, becoming, like, very much a a regular stream. And I actually kind of, like, half freaked out near the end. Because I was, like, I was just literally just chatting with chat. I'm, like, I don't know if I should be doing this. <laughs> like, I'm just acting like all of them are just, like, chat members of my community. I'm sitting there just casually chatting and sitting there having a conversation. But in the moment, I was, like, yeah, this is fine. And then afterwards, I'm, like... Oh, maybe I went a bit too far there. Like, am I supposed to be just, like, really casually talking to people this way? Um, so I did actually kind of reach out to Zell, and he was like, Yeah, nah, that's fine. Like, that's that's exactly what they want, is, like, it's supposed to be a nice, chill, casual, because it's not going to be, like, a GDQ where it's really, like, focused and connected on the run. Um, and Because you don't see chat when you're doing, like, games done quick or things like that, apparently. But, um... Yeah. It was a lot of fun. Well, that, yeah, that was the, the other point is that I wanted to try and keep uh, as many people engaged as possible because it also helped me talk about things, especially near the end of the run, because I realized I lore dumped a lot at the start of the run, which is going to happen is that I was going to explain a lot about the start of the run. 
And then when we got to the end, like the end, my memory of what happens at the end is very hazy. Thank Christ we had someone that was really knowledgeable as well to help correct me. But at that point, it was also like, cool, I'm running out of things to talk about. Let's just throw it to chat and just let's have conversations about stuff. We may as well. At 30 minutes into my stream and we're finally playing Persona 3. Uh, where are we up to? That's not the button I'm looking for. Alright, so I'm level 45, everyone in the city. So Yukari got knocked out and therefore is not high level, same with Mitsuru and Akihiko. We are leveling them up. Um... What quests do I have? That's right, we have to barter items. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. We did end up beating the, um, the boss last, uh... Last week. We have to max out a bond. Alright, so there's a few things we need to do, but I don't think there's much we can do here. I think we did the Persona updates. I generally do Persona level ups before, or fusions before we leave, but I'll just double check. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Choose the yep, we absolutely did, because I don't have many. We look oh, that's right, we got um Black Frost. I should have showed off... Oh, actually, no, I'll show it off here, because I know some people haven't seen it the last couple of weeks. I'm going to go through the compendium, because we do have to show off the Chunky Boy. We have Black Frost. God, I love him. Look at him. But in saying that, uh, do, 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 by the level, Bikini is good. Seiru. Uh, where is he? Oh, Incubus. I do love Incubus as well. King Frost. Chunky boy. Look at him. He's a big chunker. I do love King Frost. Uh, we, oh, that's right. I need to double check what we're missing. Uh, level 38 only, because uh, my purpose of this run is to get 100% completion on the compendium. First playthrough, if we can. Very unlikely. But we are not that far off, considering. There is obviously quite a lot of high-level stuff that's coming. Um... But the fact is that we're only missing one so far, based upon our level. Oh, a few here, lower levels, but that's the only real big one that we're missing is that 38. Uh, these ones we're going to get as we continue, considering that I'm level 45, my team is level 36. So this is the only one I'm really concerned about that I missed, but we'll find a combination to build that one. Uh, the other positive thing is that there's not a lot of... Um, summons without that heart we've got about more than half of them have that heart which is good um we are going to work on that as well there's there's a reason why you want all of them with hearts because that is a achievement so but yeah we've done quite a bit i don't think we need to explore i'll just double check to see where which level it's asking me to come back to Oh, 118, yeah, we're done for tonight. Uh, we have to do, we have to adult, well, senior high school, I suppose. Got a text message. Uh, oh, Fushimi. Would you like to go somewhere together? Yeah, sounds good. I've got nothing else to do on Sunday. Um, 
Sorry to make you wait so long. Once I started reading, I uh, sometimes have a difficult time stopping. This was the only place I could think of where we can relax without having to spend much money. But um, now that I think about it, maybe this place wasn't such a good idea. There's not much point in meeting up if we're both just going to read on our own, huh? I don't think it's fun, actually. There's nothing wrong with catching up like... Um, I don't know if people know the Thomas Sanders, and he used to do all the vines back when vine was a thing. And he was literally talking about, like, uh, average friends, they sit there and they talk all the time, and he talks about, uh, and then it cuts to, like, best friends, and best friends are literally sitting on the bed, one sitting on the bed, one sitting on the, on the chair, opposite sides of the room, just reading. And they're like, yeah, I'm gonna go, yeah, right, see ya. And, like, that's your best friends, like... That's absolutely true. It's like, sometimes you just, like, you are in the same room and you don't even need to communicate and it's just like, yeah, cool, we're good. I'll come here alone from now on. Uh, when I'm with you, I, I want to have time to talk. No, she's developing a crush. Oh, look at the time. Days off always seem to go by so quickly, don't they? Um, would it be okay if I walked with you back to your dorm part of the way? Yeah, sure. came by to check in on Koromaru. Do you think he'll do well? That's good to hear. Well, given his reputation for loyalty, I wasn't too worried in the first place. If you have any concerns, please feel free to let me know anytime. It's only fair, considering I was the one who requested that Koromaru join the squad. Koromaru joining us. He's totally welcome. That's right. Throwing training lessons from the master. Um, I'm pretty sure Kurochan's already more disciplined than you. Could you even sit still if someone told you to stay? Hey, don't compare me to a dog. I'm totally disciplined. I can follow directions. Kinda. Yeah, you really sold us on it. That reminds us, we hey, do have Koro-chan. Hey, so, Mr. Chairman, uh, about those summer classes. Ah, yes, I heard about Kirijo-kun's plan. It sounded like a good idea, so I went along with it. No, why would you agree to that? Oh, was I being nosy? Oh, I'm missing out on my passionate summer romance. She's disappearing before my eyes. Farewell, my beautiful city girl, awaiting me by the shoreline. Iori. The city or the shores. Pick one. Even if you didn't have classes, you'd probably just bum around the station all day. You should just accept your fate. Oh, by the way, Mr. Chairman, weren't you about to tell us something before he arrived? Ah, that's right. Aside from my unnecessary meddling, I do have another request for all of you. Does everyone have a moment? I mean, we're well, here. I think it's a good time for you all to get a routine health checkup. You know where Tatsumi Memorial Hospital is, right? Oh, that's where Sonata Senpai was treated before. With how much you've all been fighting lately, it'd be best to stay on top of your physical health. It wouldn't be good if your personas were causing any strain on your bodies, right? This is the uh, the same principal that asked us if we wanted some alone time on the roof so he can uh, examine vegetables. And now is asking us all to make sure that we're in tip-top shape by sending us to the hospital. I swear, our goddamn student... Uh, Headmaster is a goddamn pervert. I expect it shouldn't be too much of a detour to stop by the hospital after your summer classes. I understand. Still, this is rather sudden. Don't worry too much about it. Like they say, a stitch in time saves nine. Or your side. We'll be doing the checkups individually, one day at a time. You can decide amongst yourselves who goes when. Don't forget to deck up for your checkup. <laughs> uh, just kidding. I'm so happy to go rid of the pun tax for this game. Oh, maybe bring your evokers in case you need to take any shots. 
<laughs> Can I use it against you? Please, just bang. Yes. I was just talking with everyone about Coral Mara. He'll need to be taken on walks, but we won't be assigning that duty to anyone in particular. It would help if you could take Koromaru out for a walk at night if it seems he wants to go for one. Yeah, where is Koromaru? Yeah, where is he? By the way, I am out of. Oh, the wait is over. Uh, we can wild duck. If we want to go to Tartarus, but we were there yesterday. Oh, that reminds me. Here he is, he's a good boy. Hang on, that reminds me. Yeah, I just get a reminder as to when the uh, the seeds were due to harvest. <gasps> it's Karamaru! Hey there, boy. Yeah, let's go for a walk, buddy. Oh, hey, what's up? Is that your dog? Hey, Kenji. Wow, he looks like a smart one. Unlike his owner. Oi. <laughs> I'm just joking. So, how's life, man? And I love how the girl in that show has this mature vibe. You know what I mean? The Karamaru loves to go for walks, which is going to help us with him, but he, we will run into our, I'm assuming our natural social links on the way, and therefore we can build social links with taking him on walks. He is the best fucking doggo. I mean, Toggle from Final Fantasy 16 is up there as well. He's one of the best doggos. Oh, looks like this guy's had his fair share of fun. Guess we should start heading home then. See, it's cool. Did you be have Koromaru who's such a good boy? Yes, you are. Back to school. Yep, summer school. Yeah. Good morning. Yeah, it's already so hot at this hour. By the way, have you heard anything about the dates for the che health checkup? I haven't. What, really? I told Junpei to let you know. Yours is on the August 14th. Anyways, it's seriously way too hot out here. Let's hurry inside. First day of summer school. Despite the summer heat, I managed to pay attention to the lecture. Oh, hells yeah. Free intelligence boost? Give me. Second day of summer school. I know it's hot, everyone, but let's just try and get through class. Focus, focus. E so who would have thought people would actually attend this course over the summer? You sure are curious, love. I'm not really sure what to make of that. Well, anyways, let's talk about something interesting today. All you future magicians will want to pay close attention. Today's subject is tarot. That's right, those cards often used in fortune telling. But originating in 15th century Europe as normal playing cards, tarot cards evolved into tools of divination. There are a variety of tarot ca card decks, including the Marseille and the Riders deck. But today, in honor of the great Crowley, we will be using the Thoth deck. That's the deck I have. Uh, I'm not very much a spiritual person, but I do have a tarot deck and I do have a Thoth deck. I actually have an official Egyptian Thoth deck. Well, I used to. I don't know where the fuck it's gone, but I used to have one. 178 card tarot deck is divided into two parts. There are 22 major arcana, the face cards, and 56 minor arcana, or the number cards, which is where you have cups, coins, um, leaves, and all that. You have all those minor cards, and they range from 1 to 13. No. 14 
And then you have the 22 face cards, which include death, the Hierophants, and things of that nature. Which is where Persona, like, uh, why Persona also rings very true and home to me is because I have tarot decks and I, I used to read tarot all the time. Called Pip Cards. Beginning with the Fool and ending with the Universe. They tell a story in numerical order that represents an individual's journey through life. Uh, and there are specific layouts that you have depending on what the person's requesting. Uh, you have a basic four card layout, which uh, you can do the basic three card layout, which is past, present, future. Um, which, if you really wanted to do that, you can, but we do always advise against it. Uh, because three cards out of... 66 is not a very good representation as to what you're experiencing past present and future we normally do at least an eight to ten card layout if you're doing a tarot reading um which does seem to represent things in regards to that nature uh for those people that are spiritually inclined you may want to block your ears for those that are not spiritual or religious in any sense of fashion form uh it's very much cold fucking reading um, a lot of the cards are supposed to represent certain values and if you remember what those values are so like a three of coin for instance is supposed to represent a luck it's supposed to be it's supposed to represent you lucky and then you have face up and face down and it's depending on how the first card comes out depends on how you want to interpret it to the reader for instance so if it comes out this way and you can go, well, this is the fool, which is to represent mischief or misdemeanor. And you basically read the person that you're reading to. If they sit there and go, oh, I don't quite understand. You can sit there going, well, if it's face up, it means this. If it's face down, it means this. And you gauge their reaction. And if they have a slight twinge and if you can read micro expressions, it really helps. Because then you can sit there and go, okay they reacted positively to say that it was face up which means and if it's face down facing you then you go well it's face up facing you so therefore uh this is what this represents and therefore you have a frame of reference as to whether face up and face down is for them and you use the first few cards to represent that and then you go through the deck and you cold read so like most things it is very much a whole okay well this means financial ruin uh if it's set in the past you can sit there going you've lost money somewhere like even as a kid someone's probably lost a bit of money somewhere or it could potentially be that their parents or they know of a friend that has and you do fish for a bit of information and all you do is it's leading questions which is oh this means financial ruin so this could represent namely you a loved one a friend your family oh yeah this okay cool so this is probably representation of this um i never ask for money for doing this by the way but if you want validation because a lot of people have told me that they actually gain validation from it the whole point as to why i used to do tarot readings by the way was not for monetary gains i used to do it for comfort uh if people wanted comfort I never ever ask people for money for it. I always did that, but at the end, I always sit there and go, the future that you have is always in your hands. You should never rely upon the cards to ever tell you what you should be doing. I can only be a guide for you. And the whole point of this is for you to seek satisfaction or gratification as to what you're looking for. However, do not rely upon this as a be all and end all to anything. If you wanted validation on something, you've come here and hopefully you've got it. But in saying that, this is all that this is to do is to reaffirm something you already knew or you already held as a belief. And for the future, you hold that in your hands. These cards are only a representation of what could happen. Therefore, as a result, if you want a positive outcome, you have to do this yourself, etc., etc. There. If you wanted to do, like, I, I still love tarot cards, don't get me wrong, because I love the design. I love ancient history. I love the, the metaphysical, even though I don't believe in it. I love the ideology behind it. So, yeah. So each major art kind of represents a stage in that journey. And each stage represents an event an individual must experience to achieve wholeness. Pretty much. 
and that's what you used to tell what you, what you say in that journey as well so you have the fool which is like the beginning the fool is basically the infant a, a child doesn't know what it's doing and is always going to do foolish things the universe is the wise old man that sits there and understands and knows everything that happens in the world etc so you can take a look at all 22 cards and you can build a journey through it and you kind of learn that sits there for from 0 to 21 if that comes up in the journey uh when you're doing like tarot readings you can sit there and say you're wise here you're not wise here you're wise here but not wise here etc etc which to be honest is everyone's journey everyone's journey is always going to be made up of mistakes and failures Magician is one, High Priestess, Empress, Emperor, Hierophant, uh, Lovers, Hangman, Chariots, Justice, Hermits, Fortune, Strength, Spiritual, Death. All right. Yeah. Temperance, Tower, Star, Moon, Sun, Judgment, Universe. <laughs> no one's perfect. So I started tarot reading when I was like, what, 14? My sister, my eldest sister actually gave me a deck um, and asked me to start looking into it and I started doing divinations on her and she was like, man you're good at this. <laughs> no one's perfect, not even I'm perfect. Well, academics. Yeah. If anyone, by the way, wants a tarot reading, just let me know. I'm more than happy to give you one. I'm not joking. I just, I can still do tarot readings to this day. But again, it's more like a... Not necessarily a pseudoscience. I, I still like to think it's somewhat pseudoscience, but... I think it's really good for people that want comfort. And, and look, like, I'm not going to go into, like, the... Um, a John Edwards kind of type thing because I'm not going to sit there and say that I actually talk to the dead. I always preface all of my tarot readings with I'm going to read, I'm going to play these cards out, I'm going to tell you about your life. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but I think I'm going to be pretty accurate with it and I'm going to give you a glimpse into what potentially might happen in your future. And that's how I preface most tarot readings. I never claim that I understand everything. And that I have the answers for everything because that's lying. That's 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 literally lying. But if it helps people to sit there and go, well, I'm going to talk about this stuff. It's, it's almost like, and this is also why in university I did psychology because it's pretty much the same thing. It was all about talking, letting people talk about their feelings, letting them express them and have a venting agent to be able to sit there and go, this is what I think is wrong with my life. And some people are stubborn to sit there and go, I've done something wrong in my life. And what you can do with tarot is really amazing with people like that because you can have those. I, I've done one with a particular person that was sitting there going, my life seems to be going down the drain. I'm not sure why. And it's like, well, you're pretentious and you're fucking stuck up but fine i'll give you a tarot reading and basically all it was it was self-centered it was like you're too self-centered like the cards are saying that you're too self-centered you need to think more and be more compassionate and be more open like the lovers came out upside down sitting there going you've had a lot of relationships that have ended badly and this is literally highlighting that you are the cause of the problem etc and almost using my site psychology and psychiatry skills to sit there and go this is the reason why is that you're being a fucking dick like fix yourself and you'll find happiness kind of type stuff we're still in summer school by the way good hey vaye truth behind magic ah kabbalah it's the mystical study of the Hebrew scriptures. Okay, then. Yeah, 
so Moses apparently uh, created Kabbalah with the Ten Commandments. Um, yeah, basically it is uh, cryptology mixed with Jewish religion. For those who want to know what Kabbalah is. Basically, they looked at the uh, Jewish text and basically said, well, there's a hidden meaning with this if we convert it to numbers and then convert it to, um, well, into the Arabic numbers and then convert it into English. Um, basically, that's where Kabbalah comes from. But the interesting thing is that there are 22, that so there's a tree of life similar to Idrisil. Uh, if those that know of Nordic religion, Idrisil being the tree of life, uh, Kabbalah uh, actually does believe in that as well. And there, they say that there are 22 branches of life, which for those who also know the tarot cards, there are 22 major arcana cards. So therefore, as a result, they are somewhat linked. <laughs> yep. And the existence of broken up in four worlds and there are four four separate tarot cards decks as such uh, so I have my check up now don't I That reminds me, I'm always 35. God damn it, I need to have my um prostate exam next year. Sorry yours ended up taking so much longer than everyone else's. Yeah, that's alright. Oh, I'm glad to hear you say that. Although we could have done it another time and taken a full day for it. Then why Your didn't we? Persona abilities are rather unusual compared to the others, aren't they? That's why we had to run so many more tests on you. Well, based on how you've performed so far, I don't expect I'm fine with it. Problems. Persona abilities can be dangerous, depending on how they're used. With that in mind, it can't hurt to err on the side of caution. How are you feeling about it? Do you have any concerns about your power? Yep, yep. Do the full body. And I don't think there will be any issues with your test results either. So blood, um, so blood extraction, heart rates, blood pressure, um, prostate for me, uh, testicular check, um, and then yeah, a few other checks as well. Next year for me, being 35, it's the full body exam. Especially you. Things have really changed for the better since you arrived. Our team has grown, and we've even figured out how we can eliminate the dark hour. In a way, you've sort of gotten the clock ticking for us again. It's almost as if we were just waiting for you these past ten years. Yeah, <laughs> what happens when you get older? I'm afraid you have to I do. can only support you from behind the scenes. But behind what? Oh, the scenes. Okay, my bad. I'll be counting on you to eliminate the four remaining shadows. Now then, it's getting pretty late. Why don't we get you back to the door? He's absolutely a perv. Excuse me for a second. You're trying hard, oh, closed captions. I know you are. I speak in an Australian accent. Pick up yes. on it. It's missing from that document? It's urgent? Wait, but, but by today? He's also irresponsible Iwatodai. as fuck. Iwatodai. This oh. is the final train bound for Tatsumi Port Island. Please board before the scheduled departure time. Oh, this is the same train. Yep, dark hour time. I figured this was like the intro. Oh, it looks like you're at Iwatodai Station now. It's so late. You are starting to get worried. Um... Did you run into any trouble? Oh, I see. I 
hope everything's all right. I'll let Kirito Senpai know. We're in the command room right now. Oh, so all of you are perving on me. I'll go ahead and navigate you back to the dorm. I'm sure you'll be fine, but considering what happened with Koro-chan, I'd rather play it safe. Sounds fair enough. Off we go. Oh, wait. What the fuck do you think we're going to do? Oh, hi the evil off. And what have we here? Okay, closed caption does not know uh ancient horror text. Because that is absolutely evil off. Who, Takaya or the Evil Wolf? <laughs> and on top of that, we have an unexpected guest tonight. You can say yes, it's fine. Not a very favorable situation, all things considered. So, given this little yeah, fair enough. How do you intend to partake? Hey, let's see what you got. So long as you aren't against me, I will allow it. I don't know what our foe is capable of, but I trust you can protect yourself. Takaya is not a good person, but he's going to help me defeat them because it goes against his own needs. But yeah, it's Evil Off. Um, it's one of the closed captions has died. Fair enough. But yeah, Ebaloth is... Let me just double check. Hang on. I see I like closed captions, even though it doesn't pick up on it a lot. Why? Oh, it does this. It's temperamental at times. There we go. That should reset. Yeah. Yeah. It has a bit of a hissy fit like everything else on my PC. But yeah. Um, Takaya is not a good person. Um, he literally uh, ambushed us and attacked us last week. So, no. He's not a good person. Uh, he wants the Dark Hour to continue because he gets to do whatever he wants. I mean, there's literally a gun at the front of his pants. Uh, that's not a euphemism. He literally is holding onto a gun at the moment. Um, and he wants it to continue, but he also doesn't like shadows that interfere with what he's doing. So, yeah, he's a tweener, I suppose. But yeah. Ah, uh, debilitate. Oh, that's rude. Well, fuck you. I'm gonna just re-establish all of that shit. So that's your strategy. This too is fate. Um to do. Who do we have? We have Samael. We have uh Thoth. He's a monkey. We have the best monkey. Uh, still all mighty damage. That seems like the best option. I'm impressed. It's tougher than it looks. Good shot. 
I don't think it has any major weaknesses, and besides, this is doing enough damage. Let me show you my power. Uh, here we go. Uh, what persona does he have? Oh, he has almighty damage. Yep. The finale was surprisingly unsatisfying, wasn't it? Alright, so here's a persona that has almighty, which is typical of the big bad. So, that's fine. That's a evoker gun. Isn't it? Your persona ability is truly fascinating. I had a gun. It's different from the one I saw the last time, isn't it? So, you can choose from multiple personas to fit the situation. You must be burdened with an extremely unusual fate. Yeah, I got to save the world, etc., etc. Friend has arrived. Then I suppose I'll have to be on my way for tonight. What is your name? Yeah, there's no reason to hide. I don't think, because we'll find out eventually. I'll see to it that I remember. Enemies though we may be, I'm not one for leaving a debt unsettled. I shall have to repay you another time. Are you all right? To read you with the motorcycle to help us? Good work, but that was Hot. an unnecessary risk you took. You can fill me in on the way back. In any case, I'm glad you're okay. Again though, adults required. These are all high school students. Yes. Oh, there you are. You had a long night, huh? On that note, let's not go to Tartarus tonight. Yeah, got it. I'm sorry. I like to look into Strega with the chairman's help. If I find out anything, I'll let you know. Also, I understand your circumstances last night. I try to avoid staying out late from now on. Um, no, I have to meet with Elizabeth. I'll stay at some school. Six academics? No, never lucky. Oh. At least summer school's over now, but doesn't it feel like we kind of wasted our summer vacation? I'll have to make a bunch of plans to make up for it. I wonder if anything's going on soon. I have a suggestion. Ooh, a film festival! Oh. Yes. Indeed, my data indicates that festivals and other events of the sort offer unique experiences. So for investigative purposes, I plan to infiltrate such a shindig. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, try not to stand up too much. Ah, uh, the crops! Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we're calling on you to save the world, but, you know, don't get out too late. Um... Buff potato sprouts. Pardon me. Karamaru, do you need to go for a walk, buddy? There you are. Come on, I guess. Koromaru san seems to be enjoying himself. He's able to go on cherished walks together with his friends. This must be where the summer festival I have heard about will be held. For what reason is it required to equip oneself with this yukata? So the interesting thing is that you equip yourself with the yukata because it is a ceremonial kimono. 
and therefore for special events you equip yourself with a yukata so you can help celebrate the necessary um celebration with the right outfit i would like to infiltrate the site tomorrow to investigate this matter further i would love to go to japan uh during the festival and wear a yukata welcome back koromaru san you seem to be holding something. Oh, an amethyst. Thank you. He wants you to have this. Perhaps it was part of his secret stash. I love that he has little wings on his back as well. Let us come again, Koromaro san. Summer festival going on at Naganaki, uh, Naganaki Shrine today. Festival time! Uh, Naganaki Shrine is hosting a summer festival tonight. I was planning on taking Igus there to show her around, but I'm not certain if I'd make a good guide. If it's not too much trouble, could you come along as well? Uh, Kimi, Yuko. Eh. Uh, has been Mitsuru. If I don't have a, if I have to choose between the three, it has to be Mitsuru. Honestly, it's Mitsuru. It looks rather busy. I guess be sure not to stray too far from us. Oh yeah, that's right. You can't wear a yukata if you're male. Well, I suppose you can. It depends on the festival, I suppose. But yeah. It's just like I can't go into certain hot springs in Japan because I have tattoos. Um, hot springs are a purifying thing for uh, the Japanese culture, so certain hot springs you cannot go into if you have tattoos um, or hot spas because you are going to effectively dirty the water with tattoos. Which is slightly annoying, but it is what it is. <laughs> Should we hold it? Oh, way to be bold. I mean, neither of these options are really good, to be honest. But I think she can't help it is probably the better one. Yes. With the amount of data there is to collect here, I cannot help taking time to process. Fine, fine. Just make sure to stay close to us. Hmm? This aroma. <gasps> takoyaki. This is takoyaki. Would you like to try some? Shopkeep. I would like to purchase one. Shopkeep? Um, got it. Coming right up. Well, aren't you a lucky guy with two beautiful ladies? I'll throw in an extra for you. On the house. On the house? Do the takoyaki have some kind of architectural purpose? I need to have a face palm feature. Mm. Oh, extremely high temperature juices have spurted out from inside. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Looks as though you've had another valuable experience. Takoyaki is amazing. You should have some too. Show I guess the true nature of takoyaki. As for me, I'll have to decline. And why is that? Don't like squid? Those are masks. They're worn over the face as a form of recreation. One can find enjoyment by hiding one's face? Hells yeah. You can be something hiding else. your face isn't the objective exactly. Rather, you get to mm -hmm. experience having a different one. Hmm. Putting this into words is proving difficult. I mean, like, that's exactly then, what being a YouTuber is. A face, you are able to become a different version of yourself? Exactly. You become someone that you want to be. Yes, that's about right. Your degree of comprehension is actually quite stunning. At this rate, a few more tests and the chairman may give you permission to go out on your own. 
I look forward to that. Hey there, ladies. Wanna try your hand in a lucky draw? Make some nice memories? What do you say? Odds are looking good. Lots of winning tickets left. I completely forgot to activate my channel rewards. I've just reactivated them. I'm going to wait for the outcome. The box is filled with triangular lottery tickets. Um, dig down to the bottom. Congratulations, you won! Here is your prize. Enjoy! <gasps> A Jack Frostal! Hells yeah! I want one of those in real life because they do sell them in real life. in combat against the shadows here let's trade in exchange i'll give you these marbles i won they're beautiful don't you agree well i think we've seen all the vendors now it's starting to get late so let's head back not yet the mystery of the shooting game is yet unsolved i precisely struck the item to unbalance its center of gravity yet it did not even budge <laughs> Perhaps you should ask Iori the trick behind it when we return. Come on. It's made go. to design so you can't win, like most carnival games. Most carnival games are very much specifically designed so it feels like you have a chance of winning, but statistically you have a 1 in 100 chance of winning. Oh god. All right, what do you got, Tanaka? Spooky season set. Good, good. Three curse papers. Not bad, kid. Yeah, this is actually kind of worth it because that gives me um Thanks, uh evil damage. Oh, hey. Oh, yeah, we're doing a trade quest at the moment, aren't we? That's effectively what we're doing. Uh, over here. So we're going to give him his, his handbook back. Irresistible catnip. I mean, I know there's a kitty here that we saved. Is this the same kitty that needs it? No. Oh, yeah, of course it's at the station here, isn't it? It's the one that's on the, um, up here, isn't it? No, maybe it's another kitty. Oh, he wants a kitty. There you go, have some catnip. That will help him. Can I have this for myself? I want the cat ear headband. Can I wear them? I want to wear them. Oh, Elizabeth wants it. Of course she fucking does. Yeah, everything's about her because of course she wants everything. I want the headband. I want to wear them. I want to be a kitty cat. I get nothing. Good day. Are you accepting a request? Let's hear the result. Oh my. I cannot resist the urge to put him on. Well, here goes nothing. Okay, this is worth it. 
you have my thanks. 20 turquoise? Fuck. Okay. Um. I've been waiting for you. Where are we gonna go? Oh, yeah. Cool. So this is a shrine. It's quite similar to a temple, is it not? A mysterious presence lurks here, though it is markedly different from a shadow. Well then, I shall first observe the local traditions and pay my respects. I wonder if this is enough. Presenting my offering. Though I normally do not reside in this world, I wonder if I too may receive divine grace. Can I have some? Come to think of it, this system of monetary offerings is very similar to that of the fountain. There are a great many locations in your world where supplicants may request good fortune. You live in a truly wondrous place. Could those paper strips tied there be... Just as I thought. Yep, paper These fortunes. Paper fortunes. I've heard of this game. People entrust their destiny to a slip of paper, finding the risk far too exhilarating. I see. There are many possible destinies written on them. Well then, I'd like to experiment with this for myself. Please wait here while I work on obtaining every single variation. Oh dear God. Excuse me. I've been curious ever since we arrived. But what is that equipment over there? Oh, is she gonna look at the jungle gym or the slide? If memory serves. These are it's a both. slide and a jungle gem, correct? Yes. I see. In the presence of a true god, upholding a pretense of gravitas is all but meaningless. What a magnanimous and introspective message. So, interesting thing about the jungle gym that was designed, and the original design of the jungle gym was, it was to uh, basically trick or teach young, uh, young people in regards to three-dimensional movement. As weird as that sounds, is that to be able to, like, for them to go into a gym, uh, a jungle gym, and try and navigate their way out through a three-dimensional maze. Um, it was effectively designed to show that we were not capable of full grasping of three-directional movement at young ages. That's basically how it was built. It was built as a structure to sit there and go, like, we could not navigate that at a young age but we eventually like as kids grew older it was like yeah we, we absolutely can etc um tom scott um does a fantastic video around how the original jungle gym was born and created etc if that is the case hell's yeah 10 out of 10 fascinating in order to attain joy one must first claw one's way to the very top this playground equipment teaches a profound lesson on the true way of the world. I agree. Well, that was certainly entertaining. Now, could you please instruct me in the proper use of the jungle gem over here? <laughs> I, I can't get out. Yep, see? And that's the whole point of the jungle gym is to go into the middle of it and especially for someone that does not quite understand three-dimensional escapism and three-dimensional understanding of worlds like is put them in the middle of a jungle gym and go climb out and it will seem like they're trapped in a fortress and it's all about learning how to build out and escape from there. day was even more enjoyable than our other outings thus far. Hmm. To be honest, lately I've been wondering, do I find this world enjoyable simply because of the novelty of the stimuli it presents? 
I mean, that's what makes life living, isn't it? Happiness may be fleeting, but doesn't mean that it makes it less enjoyable. Or another possibility. Perhaps I enjoy myself on these excursions because of your company. Oh, am I getting hit on again? In any event, I believe I'll have to negotiate with my master to install a horizontal bar in our room. I'd like for you to accompany me again sometime, if you wouldn't mind. Well then, I suppose we should call it a day. But before we do, I'd like to go on the slide one more time. Shall we seize the opportunity oh, one more? to go in tandem? Yeah, after Elizabeth had her fun, we headed back to the velvet room together. Are you accepting a request? Let's hear the results. Come to think of it. Vitality Sash. <laughs> Alright, so we can't Very ask you well. out. So, these days are very good to ask them out. Uh, Kenji. Oh, actually, no. Uh, officer. The officer has something for us, and we're here. Be careful out there. What'd you bring? Wanna sell in bulk? Alright, I'll take that. Alright. Uh, running a little sale today. Oh, Idris. I, I talked about Idrisil. He's an Idrisil. Um. Oh, take the agility. The agility is actually worth more here. Same with the endurance. Magic here is worth more. The confuse is not worth more. Strength. Some stuff you might find useful. Toramaru! Everything looks great. It's all yours. What are you looking for? Uh huh. What are you looking for? You gotta tell that what you want? Alright then. I never feel like Everything looks great. It's all yours. I never feel Everything looks great. It's all yours. That one second thoughts. Everything looks good. All right then. Everything looks all right then. All right, as long as you need. Yeah, I was gonna buy footwear for everyone. I don't have the money. Actually, no, I can buy uh, footwear for me. Take as long. That what you want? Great. It's all yours. All done here. Uh, actually, no. We can sell some more items, I think. How many are you? You're handing that. Sure, it's a deal. You're handing. Sure, I'm at. Sure, it's a deal. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Tempting, but no. These might please people. I'm not selling shit that might please people. I can't sell the jewels. Oh. You finished? Be seeing you. Rude. Sell the jewels somewhere else. Ah, oh, antique store. Here we go. Items prepared. Come take a look. You gotta tell no. This is why we have this. Um, leg equipment compare. But I guess. Yes. Here, it's all yours. I never feel like Baby, 
laughter with me. Da -da 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 -da. Does repel physical attacks and increase the strength by three. It's been much more pleasant around here recently, and on Port Island in particular. Oh, no fear. To make this, you'll need materials. I own all of those. To make this, you'll need materials. Yeah, these are all not as good. That's a problem. Alright, so these are good for people, but it will require all ten. Um oh, I hear it's all yours. Which one? So what will it be? Me. Go on, look around. I'm sure this will prove to be useful. You like that one? And all right, I'll trade you for this. Hmm. Did that all right? I'll trade you for this. I never felt like. Do we have a deal? Oh. Is that all you need? Yep, Hope that should be soon. all good. Eh. Yeah. Let's go to the shrine. Let's see what we can get here. Of course. Uh, well, I'm sorry that I'm no fun, but also you're not giving me fucking anything to work with, kid. Jesus Christ. Oh. Very well. Uh, let's go back to the entrance and see if there's anything we can do, or is this gonna make it nighttime? It's not. Okay, good. Oh, that's just stunning. Oh. No! No! God oh, damn it. Um. Fuck. What do we want to do? Listen. Say he's level 6. Build the shrine seven, he's six. No, I'm gonna see what else we have available. Yeah, I'm gonna raise charm. I mean, I may as well. Like, I'm gonna start working on stuff. I'm gonna play the uh, the very interesting game. This is apparently a dating simulator that they're gonna play in an arcade. I didn't know any dating simulators in an arcade when I was growing up. God damn it, I wish there were. Wait, what? Like that for a second there. Yep, it's in September. Yep. Only four moons to go. Oh. 
all academics. Today, I'd like to make a snack food that would pair well with tea. And that said, I'm not terribly well versed in the art of. Oh, I used to grow up in arcades so all the time. Make some simple karumayaki. Did your and yeah, it was so fighting games, DDR, and uh, some arcades we went to had Guitar Hero Arcade, and that was where I used to play. That and Drum Mania. Because of course the music ones were the main ones. DDR I loved, but I was terrible at dancing. I'm still terrible at dancing. So, god no. Uh, I think so? Excellent. Then I don't need to explain. Alright, let's get started. Oh, absolutely. That's still an arcade. Temperature control is key. We want to turn off the heat right before it hits 130 degrees Celsius. Oh, we should keep things moving. Let's put the sugar in the ladle first. Karumayaki. What a nostalgic flavor. It, but I'm quite fond of these. And more than anything, it's nice that we can make it ourselves. You know, when I saw this for the first time, I thought it was like magic. I've tried making it myself a number of times, but I ended up burning it on every attempt. So whenever I went to an arcade, the games that I used to normally play were Time Crisis, like any shooting games I was really good at, especially Point Blank. I love Point Blank. Um, and uh, if they had Guitar Hero, um, I had the Guitar Hero arcade stuff. I used to love doing that because, again, music. And drum mania music um and then i used to watch my friends do ddr all the time i love the music in ddr but i was terrible at ddr yeah air hockey didn't mind air hockey as well i guess you could call it a bittersweet i was always terrible at air hockey I though give up. i continued practicing and that's finally led to our success today. What do you think? It's inspiring. Hearing you say that makes me glad to have shared it. Back home, there were plenty of opportunities to host formal dinners and tea parties, but I never considered it particularly admirable to have someone else prepare the extravagant dishes. Doing the cooking myself also allows me to talk with you like this. And isn't that sort of familiarity the key to understanding each other better? I think this might have been what I was missing. Instead of complaining about being difficult to approach, I needed to create an opportunity for change. And it takes a lot to admit that, especially for someone like you, Karijo. Ailment Burst. Raises critical rate on foes with ailments. Combat Characteristics. Combat Characteristics are passive effects that will automatically activate during battle. Your party members each have unique combat characteristics, which become available as you deepen your bonds. Select status from the triangle menu for further details on a party member's combat characteristics under Turgi. kind of things you learn by simply inviting someone over for tea. Thank you. I hope we can talk again like this sometime. Oh, right. I had a favor to ask. There's still some sugar and baking soda left. Do you think you could help me make another batch? Karumayaki keeps for a long time. This could be a good chance to make some for the others. How's it? Back to school, back to school. No, no, not yet. Right. Oh, Junpei. Hmm. Well, let's see. Mm, no, I think this is the time for us to hang out with our colleagues. 
Actually, no, but also saying that, I, I know I just said that, but... Uh, we also need to make sure that uh, Elizabeth uh, doesn't want us to do anything today. Oh yeah, we can. Oh, that's right. We need to buy uh, these two. Oh, we also need to double check that the old couple. The old couple we're very close to getting fully maxed out on. Okay, just double checking. Okay, Iori, I'm going to have to bite on this one. You brought me out here to help you with your summer crush, and you bought a gigantic watermelon. I am curious to see how this is going to play out. So, I've been thinking of throwing a watermelon splitting party. We haven't really done anything summery since vacation started, you know? Especially Amada. He always looks so bored when I see him in the dorm. And I'm completely safe because I got one of my alone. And man, that kills me to see. Oh, so he's more focused about us. Okay. Single entry in his summer picture diary. I mean, that's the question to really ask here, but we got to be a good friend. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, I mean, don't you know? They say women can't resist a guy with a soft spot for kids. <sighs> and you know what that means? I'm going to need your help. Sure. Do you want help with that? Yeah, you want help with that? Ah, yes. Today shaping up to be a glorious day. Such a shame that the third years and the ladies won't be joining us. Um, if we're splitting watermelons, I'm out. What? Just like that? You're not even gonna hear me out? You have a watermelon and a bat. What else could it possibly be? So Ken has the right fucking idea here. Even Ken at his young age was sitting there going, we know how this is going to end. Um, you have a baseball bat, you have a watermelon. And even with those combinations, you're still going to fucking strike out, dude. Like, it's just going to happen. That's more for little kids anyway. Plus, it's really hot out. And look, I get you're trying to be nice. Yeah, you should join us. Yeah, for real. Without you, it would just be me and him, you know? And isn't that just the saddest thing you've ever heard? Well, when you put it that way, I guess I don't have a choice. We just basically guilt tripped a fucking young kid to help us on the quest for Iori to get fucking tail. Jesus Christ, we're the worst. Oh, well, okay. Well, at least Koromaru's happy. Koromaru. Don't you worry, boy. We didn't forget about you. All right. What are we wait for? The youngest gets to draw first blood. Well, I mean, that's the big thing is we need to make sure Koromaru's happy. He gives a shit about everyone else here. Now this is what real summer feels like. My blood's pumping something fierce. Look who's acting like a kid now. <laughs> oh yeah. Where's the blindfold? We can't split watermelons with just a bat. Speaking of, this bat seems kind of worn in, doesn't it? Oh, wow. You got that. 
That bad and I go way back. Had it since I was in Little League. I've never mentioned this before. Nothing used to me. Uh, must have never had a chance to talk about it. That I used to play baseball. I mean, anyway, that's old news now. Wait, then should we really be hitting watermelons with this? Hmm? Ah, well, nah, it's cool. Don't think I'll be using it much from here on out. Someone didn't think this one through. Yeah, isn't that right, Koromaru? What's wrong, bud? Dying to chomp on some melon? No, he knows it means sentimental value and he don't want you to do it. Isn't that right, Koromaru? I need. See, somebody thinks so too. And what else are we gonna use? Um, anything, I guess. Just as long as it's interesting. Interesting. Kind of a weird request. Oh, like if Sonata-san uses bare hands. Someone say my name. Call the devil, and he shall appear. Back, I thought I heard voices coming from the roof, so I came to check it out. Hmm. Watermelon splitting, huh? That's right. We were just talking about what to use to hit it. You're not gonna use that bet? We want to use something else. Yeah, we were just saying you could probably do it with your bare hands. That is tempting considering how huge it is. Are you sure it's okay? Hells yeah. Uh, uh, sure. If that's what you want. Show us your big muscular strength, this Sonaticon. Alright. Guess I'd better make this good then. Hey, try not to go all out or there won't be any left to eat. Whoa! Sonata-san, you're incredible! Hells yeah. Yeah, we get all get watermelon to eat. How are we supposed to eat it now? There's plenty of watermelon I on the ground. That thing was still edible after it exploded like that. Didn't go exactly how I was expecting, but looked like a mod end. <sighs> Man, I was acting kind of lame back there, huh? You know, before we busted the melon. I'm talking about the whole back there. You were just trying to be thoughtful. I didn't want to come off like I was having second thoughts, but I guess I couldn't help it, huh? I was supposed to be this cool mentor, but instead, the kid ends up pitying me. Um, you have great qualities. There is a butt coming here. There's a gigantic butt coming here, and if you're into that, then congratulations, but outside of that, it's because you were too focused on trying to be something that you are not? <laughs> exactly. It's... I'll just get even sadder, you know? <laughs> Again, my macrophilia has been en engaged by my own words. But anyways. I love that the closed caption knows that word, by the way. That's good to know. I mean, I'm not saying it's your fault. Uh, how the hell do I put it? This is a me problem. It probably doesn't make sense. I feel like my life my teenage years it's just all over the place anyway i think we're done for today yeah and this is why you talk to your comrades appreciate you helping me prep and clean up well let's head back downstairs 
A lot of built up feelings there for Miori. Hey, one charm. Hells yeah. Didn't do much, but hey, it's still one charm. Um. Hmm. Ooh. That's right. We got the curse paper and the vanish ball. Nice. Oh, it's you. Oh, yeah, we need to study, don't we? Um, what do we have tonight? Appointment. Don't make it sound like that. Um, we're gonna call a quick break as I go to the bathroom because I need to pee. And we do need to go and. Uh, this will be the last break for uh, tonight. Uh, it's not going to be a long session tonight, so apologies as we go and do this. Uh, we will put some music on as I run some ads. Thank you everyone for hanging out and, and enjoying. Uh, but yeah, we'll put some music on, put a break on, and then we'll continue for tonight. Uh, let me get my music ready. Awesome. There it is. All right. I'll see you all in a couple of minutes.
Apologies, I am back now. Ah, uh, thank you, thank you. Um, no, uh, Tanaka. Fuck. Do we want to visit the sleaze ball? Uh, that's the question, isn't it? We have to grow the social link. Eh, free of charge for a life lesson. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, let's go. Let's do this shit. Come on. God, I fucking hate this. Today we'll talk about. I just can't concentrate. I get so worked up when I picture his face. Whose face? Employees. Maybe I should have seen it coming. There was a young man who was working for me. A hard worker, graduated from a distinguished private university. But this month he couldn't meet his sales quota. So I docked his pay. Self-confidence went down the drain. Then he just stopped coming to work. I feel sorry for him. What are you talking about? You should feel sorry for me. Oh, go fuck yourself. Just mailed him a letter of termination. COD. It's his fault the company's in the red this month. I've wasted so many resources. All those expenses for training, hardware, facilities, labor costs. Oh, it makes me sick just thinking about the net losses. Oh. It's all about the money for you, isn't it? difficult growing up with no money you can't even afford shoes for gym class you know Being barefoot in the winter is torture so I've, I've never thinking. understood this mentality and maybe someone can try and help me like understand the reasoning behind this um I didn't have the best of things when I was growing up either neither did my parents the whole point that my parents taught me was that you want to grow up in a, an environment that your kids are better off than you are and they did everything that they could and they they did the nine to five they did more than the nine to five grind back in their age as well they did the whole 18 hour days kind of type stuff to help us survive and that's where my mentality of being able to do an 18 hour day is there but my parents also said that's not how you live that's not the whole point. Like, money isn't everything. Yes, you absolutely need money because of the capitalist system that we're in, but that's not the be-all and end-all. Like, yes, you have to work hard and you need to be proud of what you do and work hard and diligent so you can gain respect and you can gain admiration and you can gain positions, but that is not everything that life has to, to in value with you. And I would say that we were lower middle class. I wouldn't say that we were poor necessarily, but we weren't middle class. Like at, at some points in life, we literally didn't, we, we literally had to buy bulk for a month because we couldn't afford to do weekly shopping. We had to buy a bulk and we had to have a gigantic freezer and we have to go off freezer foods like so at the end of the month like we literally had leftover scraps in the freezer that we'd sit there and go oh well this is what we're gonna have for dinner i suppose etc not necessarily poor but i would say lower middle class 
I never understood the reasoning behind people that came from that and then got wealthy and sit there and go, I came up from nothing, so therefore I deserve absolutely everything. It's like, motherfucker, like you, no one gets from the bottom class to the middle class without help of others. The only people that ever get anywhere in life without any fucking help are rich people because the rich people have everything given to them. And that's it. Like, you work hard. Absolutely. You work your ass off. Absolutely. Doesn't mean that you did this by yourself. You absolutely should take credit for what you've done. But remember that there are other people that also do the exact same thing that you do day in and day out. Like, empathy goes a long way in humanity, and god damn it, have we lost that along the way. Your innocent appearance would be a perfect camouflage for the ugly realities of business. And that's the thing, is that people that understand that there is an ugly side of business and sit there and ignores it, and doesn't shine a light to it and goes, well, that's just how business is, is like, you make capitalism the fucking thing it is now. Like, this is the reason why capitalism doesn't fucking work. Think about it, will you? Join me, and you'll never have to worry about being shoeless in PE. Oh yeah, and the fact is that, oh, oh he's starting to open up to me is a good thing. Oh, better get going. Oh, we're short staffed now, so I'll have to reevaluate the budget for next month. If I decide to hire someone new, their training is going to cost a fortune. Never understood that mentality either. God damn it. Uh, this is not going to be an anti-capitalist stream even though I started it. It's not going to be that. Just let it go, Phoenix. Let it go. Let it go. Let it... There's not a karaoke stream either. God damn it. Good morning. This is Elizabeth. I am calling to inform you that more humans have wandered into Tartarus. One this time, I believe. Please swiftly and safely conduct a search and rescue. Oh, Goodbye that's right. Well. We forgot that there were people that were in Tartarus that we forgot to rescue last time. Uh, we should do that today. We absolutely should. Um... Gonna head over to Bookworms because I do want to uh, finish off this social link because this is the social link at nine. <laughs> yeah, that was the problem. I accidentally left two people to die in Tartarus. Uh, that's going to uh, affect. I won't get true ending, I believe. I'm very certain I can't get true ending now. No. Um. We won't get true ending, which is unfortunate, but that was my own mistake. So I believe true ending requires you to save everyone in Tartarus. 100 and 104. Okay. Because I thought that I could go in beforehand, and I did, but... Um... Nope, hang on. Nope. Yeah, I, I thought I did that like last week, I believe it was, where I went, oh yeah, yeah I can I can save them later. And all of a sudden it was like, oh, I can't sense them anymore. It's like, oh well Let's move shit. I didn't alert. save two people. 
uh, which is required for true endings that you need to save everyone in Tartarus. So, I think, anyways, at least that was what it was in Persona 3 original. I'll be happy if it's wrong, but... Mm. Alright, so we're going to do a bit of Tartarus exploration today, because... There was, I'd never go check it out. Oh, very strong Remind persona. The... Warriors boots. I appreciate. No, I can have that. Yeah, we have the counter. That's unfortunate. Um. Darkness seems effective here. Oh, darkness. Okay, well that's. That's right, I have darkness. That's right, when I first encountered this one, I didn't have darkness available. Peak Rizal. Would you believe this is why we have curse paper available? Oh. Uh, it gives a, a, a potential chance to, uh. Uh, to inflict an instant kill. Well, shit, me. Um, uh, what are we gonna do here? that too. Come on, monkey. The monkey fucking is useless. Well, shit. Why is Thoth missing? Let's go boo -foo. Like, fuck it. How the fuck is, um, am I missing everything? What the fuck? Jesus Christ, talk about bad fucking luck. Um, uh, well, yeah, heal him up. Um, but you have, um, media. I can use it. Thank you. Jesus Christ, I about to say, if I missed four of them in a row, I was going to be really upset. Hmm. No, we take the Persona. Always. If given the option, because we're not going to be here for long. Let's do the same thing for our next fight. No, uh, what a recover. That's what I'm looking for. Um, uh, which is nope, this way. Nope. 
There's a shadow. Yeah, scared of us because we're overpowered. Why would you go after the one person that is that cast lightning? Take that. It's a free level up. Just what we hoped for. Oh, there! Alright. This person is lost here. We might as well also try and level people up. Um, we're doing well. Let's keep up the pace. Just wondering how many different types of shadows. Yeah, I was expecting that. Uh, give me two seconds. Uh, that is very much borderline, so I'm going to re-roll that. That's very much not. Uh, that is... Uh, birthday cake or dirty dishwasher? Uh, which would be... Red is a bad camera angle for this, but I'm very certain it would be. It's white with the speckles, which would be that one, I believe. That's birthday cake. That's nice. Thank you. Well, you do know what is available. And so you reset. <clears throat> I do have new hot sauces available if you did want to experiment on them. Oh, hell's yeah. Now they're all a really good um, sushi set. Take the experience for everyone. That certainly went well. I do have a new selection of hot sauces if you wanted to know to see me truly in pain, because you know that uh hot sauces will also do the effect. Um 
fine. Do that. Oh, crit. Nice. Um, how's your carry? Um, I don't have to spend any of my ability points for this because I can just say I'm gonna you. And then share it to fucking Kirijo, and Kirijo in a maid outfit's gonna fucking deal with the rest. Legion persona here. I think I'm getting stronger. Oh, my gorilla? Hells yeah. That was Medi Rama's speech. coming up as well, which is really good. Uh, we need to find the uh, human trapped here. That's the staircase. Good to know. Hey there. Missing person. Um. Yes. <sighs> Since we're here, though. Um. We might as well level up everyone. And we do have a door up at level 112, which we haven't beaten yet. Actually, I think we should just go up to level 112 and go through the door. Actually, okay, no, I'm gonna, okay, so, but 117, sorry. Uh, we're gonna go here and save as we always do. Safe to save in Tartarus. Um. And we're gonna make our way up to the latest death portal perhaps you could adjust your lineup to target the enemy's weaknesses on the current floor what's wrong with my weaknesses Yeah, how did it go? All right. I'm sure we was use the few, so therefore it went perfectly. <laughs> okay, so it, it 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 worked perfectly, but not for you. <laughs> Fair enough. Blocked winds. Fire damage, though. Oh, it's going to change its affinity. Let's see. Huh? Yeah, fair enough. Ah, oh, defense down is not good. Uh, let's go with Marzio. Alright, so that's useful. Two is weak to wind. Um, the only person that can't shift. Uh, well, let's see if wind is going to help. Oh, uh, not wind, ice. Okay.
Hmm. Confuse. They block. Okay, I figured as much. I just wanted to double check. Yeah, it is not, isn't it? Don't want to attack. You too. Um, son of a bitch. Well, Kurijo is the one that immediately gets fucking revived. One in a hundred chance? Hey! <laughs> it was a one in a hundred chance, I think, on that one, and it fucking worked. Hells yeah. I'll fucking take that any day of the week. Hells yeah. Okay, well, guess who's getting fucked up now that he's been fucking ambushed? always worth the effort that's actually the the key thing that I think of in terms of relationship is that if you actually if you actually like in the person surely in the bottom of your heart they're worth it always the hard work makes everything a little bit better I don't want them to have the experience, so I have to do this. Now, I'm almost dead. So please revive- please give me the most healing. Experience here is more worth it. Eight 
as weird as it is. It is absolutely worth it. Not bad. I appreciate it. Here you go, Sonata. Oh, people are always worth the effort. So long as you get an equal response out from them. That's been my philosophy. I I don't invest. As, as weird as it sounds, I don't invest energy into people that is not going to give me energy back to the energy I give them. And yeah, some people might be a lot of work, but you get things out of the work that goes into like being in a relationship. As weird as it sounds, it's. It sounds terrible the way that I'm saying it, but there are two targets. This should be a good test of your strength. I have to do this. Don't get careless. Yeah, exactly. With everything that there must be like there has to be an equal and opposite reaction for, for everything that you do. Um you there has to be something that you put effort in there must be effort you get back out and if that doesn't happen then it's it's not the right kind of like relationship even friendship like wise there has to be um what do you want to do here I'm gonna do dark damage just in case no. Blocks lightning, which is interesting. Weak is good. Okay, we have the combination we need. That should heal both. Yeah. Good. Yeah, I'm weak to punching. But Bufidine's really fucking strong. Yeah. Take the punch to the face to do that. I mean, that's how strong that my characters are is that I've got Boofy dying as a default ability and the ice person I have with me has Boofala still. We really need to level them up. There we go. Let's keep going. They're still really good in terms of SP as well. And these...
memoir. The true nature of the shadows have come to light in line with excavated historical documents. Their origin will bring the world to its end. This has become readily apparent. The project should be stopped, but it may already be. A pink bikini? Can I wear it? No. No. Just no. Just hard no. Do this. Pull the trigger. Hey, that's just unfair. You can't run that one down. Ready whenever. My up. I'll leave it to you. Yeah, I got this. The best bet. I'll do this. Does it work? What? I think I might try and get rid of this because it's already weak to it. Enemy eliminated. Nice one, Sonata, senpai. And then we revive Yukari. I think that's the smart move. Okay. That's almighty damage. No one's weak to almighty. That's a very fucking strong attack, though. Jesus Christ. Christ. Um. Yukari can bring them up. That's fine. Because. Yeah, get rid of this thing. Okay, here's what I found. That's not positive at all. Okay, what do we want to do here? That's fine. I can't do anything there. 
almighty damage. Fine. Alright. Alright. So what is it immune to slashing, right? We want to do a high crit. What has high crits value? I have nothing that does high crit value. That's fine. Because what we want is a crit. And critterus. We do want critterus. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be immune to this, but yeah. All right. Um. But this also makes sense to heal here. Uh, six is not good because that's the highest attack, right? So we need else. highest damage. Um, I have to do this because it's the best damage I've got. Um, he's got high crit anyways. And this is Balm of Life here because we need that. And the reason for that is because she has diorama, which we need to have active at the moment. Much obliged. Oh, eerie sound is not good. Um, actually, no, we have Mipatra. That's fine. Uh, the only one that I need to disinfect with this would be. I don't have anything anyways. That's annoying. I don't have a Turgy available, otherwise I'll do uh, Jack Frost. Um, freeze. Freeze strats. That's all I'm now hoping for. Unlikely, but... Yep, shock. I know it's blocked. Uh, freeze. Uh, this has to be Mepacho. Yep, figured. Alright. One is okay. Nope. We came prepared. I'm good to go now. Had this as a backup, we have this available now, which is the B chain that everyone gets full heal. That's 
fine. Freeze. I don't think they can be afflicted by status ailments. Just fine, even if that is the case, that's fine. I'm really low on SP, so I can't do much next turn. This is almighty damage. That's fine. I wish I had that available. Um, healing myself. I have to because I'm the protagonist. Good, good. What to do? Uh, we just win. Yep. Ooh. Ah, okay. Uh, which of the Arcana cards do we want? Um. Increased experience. Um, hello. Devil Tarot, Book of Aelin. It seems the Devil Major Arcana card can now appear during shuffle time. The number of items obtained by defeating enemies and destroying breakable objects will increase until you leave Tartarus. Book of Aelin, the number of Major Arcana cards attainable in a day increased by one. We're done. There's really not much we can do here. Uh, I'm not going to be able to level up much anyways until we get the next level, which will be a little while away. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Alright, so let's fuse some personas. Oh god, it's already past ten. Uh, we will finish up shortly. We'll just uh, do some fusion. Let's begin. It is a special persona. This power might be too much for you. Oh, I'm just under leveled, but I have everything for ready for it. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Um, let's what go scrying. Kind of 38, it that's the one we're awesome. missing. Okay, good. Uh, what does it require? Thoth and Legion. I'm happy with this. What do you wish to inherit? Uh, Maragi. It appears it will receive a large amount of power. Yeah. I'm happy with this. Alright, so that's level 38. That's good. We have that one. Uh, 
poison mist. Is this acceptable? Oh, I already have that one. Okay. Um, Kaiwan is actually very good. Shit, who am I sacrificing for this? Give me two seconds. Oh, Samael? Ah. Um. You can't control <laughs> We want the succubus. This power oh, Mishiguchi. The white rider. Uh, we get a bloody old man's head on a star. Um. Yeah. It seems no new power. So it begins. Because we have not unlocked Star yet, in terms of persona abilities. But yeah. You can't control this one yet. This persona is powerful. How's yeah? Okay. What skills to inherit. It That's that will perfect. Marga uh, Margarulo, Margarian, Marbuffalo. Uh, we're only missing um, Marzio or Marzongo. That's fine. I'm happy with that. <laughs> Why, this is exciting, isn't it? Keep expending the compendium because we can get all of these. Um, ooh. Go ahead. Yeah, okay, I'm fine with that. Oh, Rhonda. This power might be too much. Oh no, we can't have him. Okay. This is your progress so far. Level 45 and we're missing 41s onwards, which I'm, I'm not too upset with because um, we're going to miss most of the 41s onwards anyways, because a lot of our allies aren't up there yet. But we're 48% of the way for completion, and I'm happy with that. Are you finished? We look Let's just double check who we have now in our... Set. I think we only have a few now. Yep. We have coverage. We don't have a lot of coverage, but we have coverage. Yeah, I'm happy with that. We have coverage. Oh, new moon. Yeesh, this is a scorcher. Oh man, it's already the twentieth. Summer break's almost over. Not that I got anything to do. You'd think with special powers, the rest of the world wouldn't be so boring. Hmm. She doing drawing she's some kind of caricature artist nah no way there's no one around for her to draw what the heck is she drawing then there's nothing interesting here out of the way 
You're blocking my view. Move. Hell's yeah. Huh? Oh, sorry. Oh, what's with those funky colors? What do you want? No, uh, nothing. My bad. Dude, how can she stand to wear that crazy outfit in this heat? And what was up with that weird drawing? I used to be an emo in Australian summers. And we used to wear black covering head to toe. The fuck are you talking about? If you enjoy it, it doesn't matter. I guess beauty is in the eye of the beholder? Huh. Oh well. Oh, that's depressing. I've got no messages. It's like me in real life. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, oh. I made myself depressed. Um. Dave. Do we want to call it here? Do we want to do tomorrow? Uh, we'll do today and let's see what happens. Oh, yeah. Let's try and see if we can get the, uh, the old couple. 100% Well, fuck me. I spent time with them too. Elizabeth, you want to hang out? <laughs> hey, sad kitty. Let me guess. Did you, did you uh, lose access to your other disc, to the other username? A shame. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Very well then. trying to figure out what we're gonna do for the next little bit mm. I think we need to focus on our stats for a little bit honestly I think the stats are a little bit more important by the way I don't know why stream elements by the way is just not doing these sound effects I'm very annoyed with this Oh, that's not I, that's Sad Kitty. Yeah, been good. I'm trying to work out now why my sound effects are not working. That's slightly annoying me, but we're going to work that out as we do this. <laughs> nah, it's all good. Uh, raises charm, hells yeah. <laughs> That's right, there's a dating simulator in the fucking arcade again. Why does the music not work on my OBS? There we go. Okay. I think I might need to keep stream elements loaded if that's going to happen. Ooh, what tattoo? No. What do you mean, no? I mean, no does mean no. That's a very good point. 
What's wrong? I am currently negotiating with Koromaru-san. Koromaru-san is prohibited from going out for a walk on his own. There were arrangements for Sonata-san to accompany Koromaru-san on his walk today. However, the scheduled time has passed, and Sonata-san has yet to return. Koromaru-san's patience has reached its limit. He just wants walkies. Koromaru-san is requesting that you accompany him instead. Hells yeah, and we'll take him for Are walkies. Are to assist at the moment? Ooh, an Oni mask tattoo. Hells yeah. You are what they call a lifesaver. He's a good boy. You just want walkies, don't you? Yeah, we do. We're going to go have some walkies. human persona user now that is certainly unique however my fascination lies more with you aunt kaya good evening there's no need for hostility now is hardly the time let's have a little chat come along you need some meat on your goddamn body because i can see your rib cage from here We do not body shame, absolutely not, exactly but I'm just saying that we can see his ribcage. If that's what he's going for, he's going for that. Now then, I have a question for you. And hell's yeah. I'd love a kimono. Or a yukata. Just demanding answers from you wouldn't be a very fair arrangement now, would it? I mean, it would be if you just take your hand off the gun that you have tucked into your pants. Again, gun is not a euphemism. I can literally see you holding on to it. I will answer one question of your own first. Hmm, what do you want to ask? What do you want to know? Uh, why are you getting away? Why aren't you wearing a top as a... <laughs> No, we, we don't ask that one because it's fine. He can not wear a top. It's fine. I'm happy with that. Uh, what's your goal? Why are you getting in our way? Mm. What's your goal? We don't serve any particular grand purpose. That's not what I asked. You simply stayed your hands. We could have avoided a needless confrontation. No, 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 no. You didn't answer my question. What was your goal in all of this? It's not that if you have a higher purpose or not. It doesn't matter if you have a higher purpose. What's your end game here? In the beginning, we had no quarrel with you. Had you not decided to eliminate the dark hour, we wouldn't have had a reason to interfere. It is truly unfathomable. The power of a persona is a blessing granted only to us. Yet... You insist on ending the dark hour, knowing full well that your powers will be lost. Now, answer me this. Why? That is a very interesting question. Should you dress like a geisha tomorrow at work, or...? I mean, the question is, why not both? Only at night, geisha in day? trying to protect the world from the shadows and yeah, that's right and just where did you come up with that idea in this country almost 5,000 people die in car accidents every year and yet there is no outcry against the existence of cars why do you suppose that is Oh, someone is going for nihilistic ideology here, and you're talking to someone that understands the counter-argument for nihilism. 
because guess what? I used to be a nihilist myself. It is because we value our own convenience over the lives of others. Uh, no, that is absolutely not the case. The reason why we can't sit there and live into despair is because the advancements of technology and the ability for us to be able to outgrow inconveniences that we experience nowadays of our own lives is the reason why we continue. Because guess what? If we had a nihilistic approach, we would actually be as cavemen at the original point where we're conducting fire going, well, fire burns people. Why should we have fire if it burns people? That kind of approach is counterintuitive to survivalism. You can be a nihilist, but then realize that nihilism at this point in age, because we're intelligent enough to sit there and go, what's the point in doing all of this? is actually counterintuitive to survivalism, which chumps everything else we do in civilization. So then, why should we give up the powers we were bestowed? Do you know what a savior complex is? Yeah. You are being trapped by a misguided way of thinking. We have no obligation to sacrifice what is ours to save others. Uh, yeah, we do. That's the whole point of survivalism. That's the whole point of actually civilization and the basics and foundations of everything that comes to being in terms of being a species is that you must fight to survive. And if it means that you give up a beneficial artifact to be able to help propagate your species, you give up that ability. That's how survivalism works. Giving up your own life to save others is simply a waste. Your reason for fighting is one of obsession. Nope, so that's a nihilistic approach to um, uh, modernism. Martyr martyrism is a very important fact when it comes to survivalism for those who do not know um, there are many species that a single individual will go out and actually sacrifice themselves against a threat to protect the rest of their clan that is called survivalism and therefore where martyrism comes from is literally that you martyr yourself to protect your species that is a aspect that comes from a inherent form of survival, which comes from Darwin's origin of species and survival of the fittest, etc. Those that are willing to survive and fight for survival are the ones that actually propagate. That's how this works. Nihilism is the counterintuitive form, which is what's the point of surviving? Well, the point of surviving is the fact is that you not just you nihilism is actually a very self-centered approach nihilism is what's the point of me doing anything whereas survivalism is more of an approach of what can i do to help our species evolve and sustain and survive nihilism looks at everything and goes well we're all going to be doomed to do nothing so what's the point of me doing anything etc whereas survivalism is what can I do to help us propagate and survive and enhance, etc., etc.? That's how you beat nihilism. Nihilism, and as soon as you tell a nihilist that they're selfish, they immediately become so defensive to the point where they sit there going, "Oh, but, 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 no! It's, it's, uh, why should I do it?" That's the whole point. If you're nihilistic, it means that it's all about you and not about actually how we can survive and how we can do something. Because guess what? Every single individual has a purpose and has a reason to help make the rest of the species survive. If you think that there's no point in the species surviving, it means that you should be cut off from the rest of the species and therefore, cool, oh, you can do whatever you want, but you're not going to be... You're not going to help us do anything that we need to do to help us propagate. So therefore, why should we include you in anything? And watch them backtrack. Do you continue there you go. To deny it because you can't accept the Psychology, truth. philosophy, and psychiatry. All in this session. 
You should think carefully about it. We have been given a special power, and yours, yours is particularly extraordinary. It's as if the Dark Hour has chosen you. Does it really make sense for you to reject this gift? That was all I had to say. Tonight is a new moon. That's the you thing, is that he's... To reconsider and again, this is nihilistic versus survivalism tactic. Nihilist is sitting there going, you're sacrificing what talents you have. A nihilist is the one that sacrifices everything that they have. It's as simple as that. It, he simply is sitting there going, well, you're just abandoning the gifts that you have. It's like, no, I'm using my gifts for the reason why I have them. Everyone has a purpose. If you want to believe that, I mean, even without being spiritual, everyone has a purpose. And that's the whole point why civilization, uh, civilization exists. Now, you can take it to extreme levels, which is um, exploitational levels of oh, people have a purpose because, hey, guess what? We can exploit them. <laughs> but in a civilization, everyone has to serve a purpose in the civilization because that is, again, survivalistic in nature. Now, you can go to the extreme of exploitation or you can go to a what is it that is going to help you and us achieve both of our goals and this is where we start branching into a new realm which is not survivalism but civilizationism and a lot of people don't even know that this exists but if you look at some of the early forms like look at the greeks as a good example that was democracy at its finest, as a lot of people say, is because they sit, they literally went there and go, well, you're a member of us, so what do you want us to do? How can we help you and how can you help us? That is literally what a utopian society asks is, or so should I say it's utopianism? Utopianism comes on the back of everyone has a purpose, and how does the community help you extract the most of your purpose? And we go from there. Like, utopianism is the complete borderline unobtainable goal is never going to happen. The fact is that we should still strive for it is perfect, though. Oh, we have a folded paper. Thank you. My debt to you is paid. Thank Perhaps you. You gave me an origami figure. Your mind. Well then, I shall be going. I trust you'll have changed your tune by the next time we meet. He's paid for Takaya. The new gear has ease summoning, but we need to make new safety cartridges before handing them off to MK. The evoker weight is also an urgent matter. Fortunately, ample test subjects remain to... Wait, he talked about the evoker? Hmm. Interesting. Well, that being said, I think we're done for a little bit. Because, um, I have something else prepared.